What up, what up, what up, guys? It's Glam, and we are here today with another quick craft video. Now, this is gonna be a little bit different than my previous quick craft videos because I wanna show y'all the best ways to get good at quick craft. So, this is our new little pet. It's a pink baby sheep, and I don't know what to name it. So if you have any suggestions, please list them down in the comments below, and I might just pick one of y'all's name suggestions. So, um, all right. The first thing I want to touch up on is your Quake Craft gun. Um, so right now I currently have a Power X, um, it's a polished marble case with a yellow laser, a large barrel, obsidian muzzle, and trigger is 0.9 seconds. Um, that triggers are the most important thing when it comes to Quake Craft. So if you're just starting out, you'll have a 1.5 second um, speed, but you're going to want to save up your coins in order to get uh, probably a 0.9 second because a 0.85 is like 2 million coins and that's just a ridiculous, not going to happen thing. So this one's about 300,000. So I'm almost um, at, I'm aiming to get the Railgun of Darkness. So all I need is the black laser. I only have a yellow one right now. And the black laser is 500,000. So that's going to be the most expensive on my list. Um, I could also probably go for the Apple Core, but because those are the two that use the 0.9 second speed. Whenever you get that certain set of, um, uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say? Stats, I guess. Then that's when, uh, like, it'll have a special kill message. So, like, Apple Core says palmed, Railgun of Darkness says vaporized, which I like a lot better. So that's what I'm aiming to get. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get in the game. I'm gonna play teams because I haven't had a video where I play teams just yet And I always play on all oh, I was gonna say red, but they put me on blue, which is fine um, Red typically wins a lot more for some reason. I think just because a lot of the good people are on red ah. um, But yeah, so Red's my team yo, but I'll stick with blue if I gotta Yeah, I've been doing this a lot lately, so, like, pretty much every day. This is my life right now, is playing Quake Crap, because I recently uh, found myself jobless, so this has become my distraction for now. <laughs> Yeah, this is the best on this map. What I like to do is just hang out in this general area and kill the people that are coming toward me. But you can do all sorts of things like, um, and another good tip is you want you definitely want to give your mouse plenty of space to operate, ah. and um, that way you're not bumping into stuff whenever you're trying to shoot to aim, aim to shoot, all that good stuff. And then when you're playing Quakecraft, see, you want to look at the names. You can see the name tags through blocks. So, and um, you, you can aim a little bit before they get to, you know, right in front of your face. So like this guy's coming up. Aim is always the toughest part, I think. You just, it takes a lot of practice to get used to. Ah, uh, they're over there. Okay. Um, I don't know. I have a list. Um, let's see. Look for name tags. Oh, another good thing is to put on some motivational music. For the sake of the video, I might do that next game. I'm not going to do it right at this moment, but I always like to play with some music on because it just helps me get in the zone a lot more. And 
don't know. Especially with like electronic music, dubstep, that kind of thing. Um, just the hype, the hype, yo. Gotta get the hype. Oh, and another thing is you definitely want to be moving a lot. So if you are going to be camping or staying in one general area, then you always want to be moving. That way it's harder for the enemy to target you and aim at you, I guess. Um, so yeah. Always be running, always be moving. And yeah, we're first place on the list. MVP! So that's how you get good. Um, try not to camp too much because people generally don't like campers, but if you find a god spot that you just really want to, uh, you really want to do, then, I mean, I'd, I'd do it, but I, yeah, there's nothing wrong with camping, it's all part of the game, just don't be obnoxious about it, I guess, and try to move around as much as possible. But like I said, even when, uh, if you are camping, just move around so that it's harder for them to get to you. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So let's go down some motivational music. I have a little bit of dubstep going on. Let me see if it'll play. Aha. Yeah, I was kind of in the middle of the song, but that's okay. Um, I like to have the music like less than the sounds of the game that way you don't get too distracted but I think that's a little bit too low okay anyway so yeah I'm trying to save up for that black um, instead of the yellow fireworks so that I can okay that's a little bit too low there we go. Um, so that I can get that vaporized message. Oh, another thing is try not to stay in the same area as your teammates because it's easier for them to get like a double or triple or quadruple kill. Um, I've only seen that like maybe once or twice. Where are you at? And my aim is so off sometimes, but that's okay, just keep trying. And that's what's good to have a, a good trigger speed so that it um, cooldown isn't as long. You can easily get back to aiming and shooting and all that good stuff. If there are power-ups, always go for the power-ups even if there's nobody to shoot. But that way, that means that the other team can't get it. Um... What else? I don't know. I mean, it's a lot of just playing and getting used to it. It's a lot of fun, though. I love it. This is like my favorite game on Hypixel. Oh, um, I do have the IP in the description below if y'all do want to play. And I would love, if we got enough people eventually, I would love to host like parties or something and we can all play together. That would be amazing. Um, yeah, I play solo too if I want to take a break from teams, but I just like teams better. It's just a lot more fun in my opinion. Okay. Oh, also, one thing that's really annoying to me is, um, like, don't shoot your gun as soon as you spawn if there's nothing to shoot at. Like, don't shoot if there's nothing to <laughs> shoot at, you know? Because then you gotta wait for the cooldown and somebody might come at you. And you've already wasted your, your one shot for that second or whatever. If you can get um, double and triple kills, go for it. Um, oh, another thing is what I just did. I, I don't know if y'all saw it, but... If you left click on your uh, railgun, then it gives you a little speed boost like that. So that's always a good thing to do, especially if you're trying to get from one place to another. 
can also use it for um, dodging as well. Ugh. And there's this one spot on this map that a lot of people like to camp at. Unfortunately, they only have um, like three maps or something for the for the team play. focusing okay um so hopefully they'll get some more maps soon i was thinking about possibly making a couple maps for the mini games that are played on either hypixel or hive um if y'all like to see me build a couple maps then let me know give this video a like and uh yeah, let's put it there um yeah, maybe I'll do it. Also, if you do want to see that, give me some ideas, too, for themes or whatever that I can incorporate into the build. I think Quake craft maps are going to be a little bit more complicated because there's just so much. This one's pretty simple. Um, but, I don't know, I think, I think Quake is going to be a little bit harder. I think I'd rather do a map for something smaller like Battery Run or, or something like that. But yeah, um, let me know what y'all think about that idea. Uh, what else? What else was it gonna say? Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. How's everybody doing? It's been a while. Uh, I recently had a birthday this past weekend, so that was cool, I guess. It was fun. Um, ah, I hate when that happens. Oh, yeah, see, this is another pet peeve I have. Oh, well, I already told you. Ah, curses. Um, yeah, like I said, don't hang out with your teammates too much because you can end up in a, a being a part of a double kill or triple kill. Ugh. Another thing is you can, I hate this dance that we do. Yeah, if you start to do that little dance where you go in circles trying to kill each other, then try to go in the opposite direction and get them because and surprise them. They're on that side, so I decided to go on this side just because there's nobody else over here and I don't want to end up in a double, triple kill, or whatever scenario. Okay, somebody's up on top. Let's eat them. Ugh, they are, like, spawn killing us right now. Dude. Alright. Take care of them. Alright, this might be the last game, I think. At least for now. Yeah, if y'all want to see more, get, hit that like button. Let me know. And I think on this map, if you fall into the void, it doesn't count on the other team as a death. So that's nice if you're trying to, if you're in a sticky situation and you need to get away. Like this was kind of a sticky situation, but there's just too many. Ugh. Now if you're really OP, you can hit them before they're even like there. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. You'd have to... Ah! I'll try to, I'll see if I can demonstrate it in a second. Let me get to a, to a spot here. Focus. Ultimate focus. Ah. Yeah, so that one camp spot that I was telling y'all about in the beginning. On this map. Um... Okay, so this guy, did y'all see? I kind of hit him a little bit, or I, I shot a little bit before he got past that wall. That's like, you definitely want to do that as much as you can, just because they won't be expecting, uh, expecting it as much. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like, on the other map, it's a lot easier because there's a lot of campers that camp in the top sections of the spawn area. 
and uh, you kind of got to do that a lot because like kind of wait for them to come out in the open a little bit more. Uh, the dance. Bro. I try not to go on the top too much on this map, but I will if I need to. Okay, so this one is kind of tricky because they can go on either side of the pillar and you don't even know which, which side they're going to choose. Try, try not to let them onto your base because all of them will bombard you and like basically spawn kill you. Oh no. Kill this dude. See, he's all up in the base. And all his buddies are coming after him. We can't let that happen because they can easily rack up their numbers quickly. Ah! And the, uh, the little... Mm, not okay. This is not okay. The little boost thing that I used earlier. See, they're all up on our base. Um, that does have a little bit of a cooldown, like a couple seconds or so. I haven't even upgraded mine, but it's just a nice little added thing. One more kill. Who's gonna do it? Ah, so close. Yes, got him. Oh, I didn't even get the last kill. I thought I did. What up with that? Oh well, whatever. So I think that's all I'm going to do for this video. Um, if y'all did like it, hit that like button if you want to see more. And um, yeah, just to go over the, uh, the tips real quick. Um, number one, give your mouse plenty of space. Put on some motivational music. Look for the name tags in game. Aim, shoot them. And then you definitely want to get a good railgun. The trigger speed is key to, to getting a good railgun. Um, and then you always want to be running. Like, don't stay in one spot and camp. <laughs> um, and even if you are, if you do camp, like, always be moving around so that it's harder for them to uh, shoot you. And then, um, yeah, just get good. <laughs> practice makes perfect so definitely practice a lot and guys I do have this little this baby pink sheep and if y'all want to help me name this sheep I would appreciate that please leave it in the comments on what y'all want to or you can send it to me on Twitter as well my Twitter is in the description below um, I guess I will see y'all in the next video so uh, uh, no wait uh, uh. There we go. Bye, guys. I will see y'all later. Bye. Bye, dude. Don't worry about us, bro. <laughs> We're not even a threat to you.